Well, hello folks. This will be shot number two. Um, we got uh, lovely people calling all the time. But, <clears throat> I was going through Walmart, and I always, a lot of channels I watch are, are kind of prepper channels and, uh, you know, EDC stuff. And uh, being a Boy Scout, I, did, I always did like that being prepared, that prepared aspect. Um, I think is is uh, is a very good thing to be and to have. Uh, being an EMT in my local area, there is a, a river that people tend to tube down, and when they tube down it, they typically um, will get lost because they don't they lost track of time or they don't know where they are. Uh, their phone is dead. They don't have any communication with everybody else. So <clears throat> we routinely go and find them and put them back and, and get them all together. But one of the things that I said uh, that I thought of is if they had some sort of box that they could carry certain items with them, attach it to their tubes, like spare batteries and all that kind of stuff, what would that be like? So I went and looked at the big ones, the Pelicans, the Yetis, all that stuff, all those dry boxes, okay? Dry boxes. This is not a dry, well, it's, it's a water type box. Do you notice it does not say waterproof? You have to have a certain design, different designation to prove that it is waterproof. These are water tight. Will they float? Yeah. Is it the hardest of plastic? No. So I bought this size, which is the uh, large one. I have one size larger than this, and I also bought. Sorry, I took all the stickers off of it. This is the uh, whatever this size is. It's the the small. It's the small case. Sorry. Um, it also comes with a gasket that peels peels over this. So, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Um, the box itself, the fit and finish is okay for Chinesium. Um, when you go to close it, it doesn't... See how it stays open? You have to actually compress that gasket on the back side. And it's a little, it's a, it's a, it's a hard plastic latch. I don't think it's anything resin. It's designated WCA3, whatever designation that is. You probably go over to AVE's channel. He can probably tell you what type of plastic it is, whether it's glass reinforced. I don't know what, what they may be. But mainly, I wanted to see what these boxes were all about. This box is like six bucks. This is six bucks. I think this was like eight bucks. Eight bucks. This is cheap insurance. Now, is it waterproof? I don't think it's waterproof. But will it keep your items handy? Yeah. Will it also keep them with you? That's the main part of this. So, in picking up the box, it doesn't feel kind of flimsy, but it's not, it, it's not, it's not truly heavy duty. Is it worth the $5? Yeah. Y you bet your butt it's worth the 5 bucks. Um... This one comes with two handy dandy latches. That comes with two seals. Woo. See this is oh that's that's the seal, okay. So this one this one closes a little better. But the main thing is is that we wanted to compress that seal. I don't know whether it does it well or not, but I'll check it out, but mainly, if you're out and about, these items, these boxes, will keep your items relatively dry. 
So let's see what we can stick in them. This just happens to be a flint steel. Lighter in the other. Oh, man, when I'm going rivering, I don't want to smash my watch, so I'll stick my watch in there. Ooh, I want some tissues so that I got some good kindling and I can wipe my nose. Um, compass, because you know when you're out and about, you do know that your cell phone is not going to work. It's going to be out of batteries. Knife. I uh, gotta have a knife in this one too. Okay. Um, junior little pocket knife. Oh, gotta have a compass in this one too. Compass in that one. Uh, flashlight. Hey, I gotta do a video on this light. This <clears throat> is uh, my Claris XD11. If you ever watched um, anything about flashlights at all, you will know about Going Gear. And we lost a big guy. Um, Marshall over at Going Gear, who is the CEO, um, recently unexpectedly passed. I don't know what the deals are, what the, what what happened, and all that kind of stuff. But we lost a big guy um, in the uh, in the industry, so far as in uh, knives, preparedness, camping, all that stuff. So um, our thoughts and prayers go out to their family. Uh, to his wife and his children, so um, we'll do a we'll do a review on this XD11. There are many other different variations. This just happens to be a, the XD11. I think they have an M and an R. I don't, they do several other um, different different ones. So we need to put a uh, flashlight in that other one. Um, you know, some people have medications in the springtime. Um, I get asthma, so I'll stick my inhaler in there. Got to have something to eat. I'm hungry. And what's the other good thing? Everybody goes crazy on a first aid kit. You know, you got to have that that uh, tourniquet and all that kind of fun stuff. As an EMT, I found out that a tourniquet you can make it out of anything. Um, as long as it, I have seen many of those uh, fancy uh, tourniquets that have been. Uh, grossly administered and don't work and I have seen some of the the most heinous looking devices that have worked extraordinarily good for a um, for a tourniquet so it's not in the equipment of the tourniquet itself but it is in the application thereof so this just happens to be a little first aid kit. You know, you got some tape, you got some bandages, you got some, I don't know, headache stuff. Whatever was stuffed in there in a, in a um, thing. That's all you really kind of need. Um, it's not like you're going to, you know, to Baghdad. And my wallet. My beloved SOE wallet. This is a wonderful piece. So, I've kind of stacked these things through in no certain way. Do I have anything else I can stick in there? I don't know. That's about, you know, standard, you know. This is just like a day trip going to there. So I'm closing the lid. That one's closed. That one's closed. Look at that. So, <clears throat> I have a nice package that I can, when I'm out and about, I can attach to my backpack or to my tube or to my person. I could shove it into something. I know that when it rains, I'm protected 100%. Okay? I have all the things that I need. You know, you can stick more stuff in here like batteries or whatever, but you don't want to go crazy with it. Um, this, you know, you can pack up as, you know, if you're a tubing. Um, or you're going to be on the water, um, you can put this as a, as a guide, uh, your dry box for your, uh, for your boat. So, I kind of like these. These aren't so bad. For five, six bucks, and for eight, nine bucks, you can't beat them. Are they as, are they going to be as rugged as, as a, as a, uh, 
I don't know, as a, as a Pelican case? No, because that's what Pelican does. But this just happens to be just a just a small smattering of Chineseium that, you know, is not so bad. Um, remember, I'm a guy with, you know, two kids that like to do a lot of stuff. Um, and I'm older now, so brand loyalty is a big thing, but I'm not adverse to trying other things. If this works, if this works well, that's called flying under the radar, baby. So, I kind of like them. I like the color. It comes in a different, col different uh, colors. Um, it came in this blue, this darker blue. They also have a smaller one than this that will just fit your cell phone that they claim on the smaller case happens to be waterproof. Um, these are just watertight. Um, whether I can stick them under water and submerge them, I don't think I want to do that. But if I'm in a if I'm in a in a canoe or something like that, and I happen to dump it, this will float, and I can I have you know at least some protection. So these are kind of cool. I, I'm digging these. Um, it gives me a chance to keep all my stuff handy. Um, it also gives me a, a greater uh, problem of losing everything all at once, but that's what you have these for. Attach these with a carabiner or a piece of cordage, whatever it may be. But I'm not liking, I'm not, I'm not thinking these are just too terrible. You know, these aren't so bad. So I think, I th uh, who makes these things? I forgot who makes these things. It's it was at Walmart. It's Outdoor Recreation Group. I think also uh, let's see if we can see that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Outdoor Recreation Group. Okay, that's that box. Oops, sorry. It's that one. So I think they're also available. They may be available at Dick's. Um, they're probably available at Target. Uh, my local Target here didn't have it. Um, they're not real camping eccentric, like say as a Walmart. But kind of a neat box. I like them. So if you go down and you need something in a pinch, you want to try something other than you know the real high-priced options that you go to, like say uh, Bass Pro Shops. Cabela's, um, the specialty stores. Give these a shot. See if you like them. I mean, if you're not, you're out. You're not out all that much. You know, this is what sixteen bucks, seventeen, eighteen, twenty bucks. You know, so give it a shout. See what you like. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe, because I always forget to stick that in the video. Um, go check these out. They're kind of neat. I'm kind of digging it. So, until next time, folks, remember my mouth-breathing mammals. Be kind. Be nice to one another. Have fun. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.